Hi everybody, this is Eve Brock and I am out at our newest listing. This home is located in Country Walk, which is a really, really special neighborhood. You don't have any overhead power lines anywhere. Um, it's got a little bit of an HOA. I think it's like $40 a month or $38 a month and you get this really great clubhouse to hang out. They have events like hot dog socials and potlucks and stuff like that. So it's a great family neighborhood. There's no age restrictions here. This is like one of the only neighborhoods like this in Lake Placid. So it's unique. We don't have very many come up in here very often and they usually do sell pretty fast. So this one, the kind of cool thing about it is it's on a really extra large lot. Um, it's on the end of a cul-de-sac. So the lot goes about like so, and then over to the neighbors. So you got a lot of room if you've got kids that like to play football or just be out in the yard. Um, they just put a new roof on it as of a couple of days ago. It's just been repainted on the outside. They put on new light fixtures. There's a new doorbell. The door itself has been repainted. It's a beautiful lead glass door. So let's go inside. I know you're anxious to see what it looks like. Anybody home? No, nobody's home. But we can ring our brand new doorbell. Huh? See if you can hear it. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Even the doorbell is new. Okay, so inside got a really really cool um, area for living it's all open it's really big it's got this nice bar that you can make a huge meal and then it's a galley kitchen so I don't know if any of you guys have ever worked in a galley kitchen before but oh my gosh for meal prep you can be cutting your vegetables right here you can be roasting your turkey and getting it ready over there and it's a very efficient kitchen for those that like to bake now it's kind of loaded up with everything we have a disposal we have a refrigerator stove microwave dishwasher most of these are stainless lots of cabinets you've even got the overhead cabinets for fun decorating now let's go into the living room Okay, so beautifully decorated. The house smells amazing. It almost kind of has a smell of apple cinnamon in here. Uh, living room has a really nice setup with direct access to the kitchen so you can be talking with whoever's preparing food. And then we see bedrooms all over. This is kind of like a split, split, split bedroom because we have a bedroom up here a bedroom here and then I'm standing in the bedroom of the master so let's go check out all these bedrooms so the first one can be set up kind of like an office or a den or it could double as a second living room for those of you that like to have a little separate space it's a really good size room this is a big king size bed in here and you can still see there's plenty of room for an end table on both sides Nice closet, painted beautiful Florida colors. And then these guys have a door going into the guest bath. And look at how pretty, I love the shower curtain. What do you guys think? Isn't that the most beautiful shower curtain? It's a nice white clean shower in here. Okay, all right, let's go to the number three bedroom. All right, so in here, this was an add-on, so there is no closet inside this one, so you would be using armoires, or this could be the guest, or I'm sorry, the, the den or library or uh, whatever you want it to be. Okay, let's go into the master. Huge, huge master. They've got a king size in this one too. 
It's got a nice walk-in closet in this. Actually, it's got two closets, so you could have a shoe closet and a walk-in closet. The bathroom has got those really nice uh, doors. And everything's really painted a pretty Florida kind of shade in here. The flooring has been updated as well. It's a nice um, luxury vinyl plank. Kind of got a weathered wood look to it. And then out here, we've got a really nice screen porch. You can see the pillars are a little thicker on this. This is a newer porch. It's got insulated panels, so it stays cooler. It's been completely tiled. Most of these that we see are just bare concrete floors, so this feels more like an extension of your living space. Double fans. As you can see, you got plenty of space for a huge one, two, three, four, five, six person table. And then out here, we got an extra bonus. This could be many different things. It's insulated, it's got a concrete floor. They've got an air conditioner in here. Kind of unusual to find. Like I said, we did get a new roof on this one, and it does feature a new ridge vent style. These are called halo vents, and they help the, uh, the typical ridge vent, which you can kind of see right here. Upon a driving rain, rain can get up underneath there and cause your ceiling to get all brown and stained, where these are less likely to happen. These are more expensive, and there's four of them on this house. They also help with um, uh, getting ventilation through because this style doesn't allow a lot of airflow. So the cooler your attic is, guess what? The more efficient your house runs for your air conditioning system. Now this little guy means that it's got irrigation system. There's the irrigation pump. We've got a nice train air conditioner. Side door. What typically happens on these side doors is they're usually rotted out at the bottom. This one is nice, clean. Okay, well there it is. We've seen the house. What do you think? Give me your comments down below and uh, let's do a little guessing game. So this house I think is probably, I don't have exact measurements with me, but I think it's probably over 2,000 square foot, probably 23, 24 total. What's your, thing? What's your thoughts? What do you think it would cost? Give me some comments below. Let's see who gets the closest. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching and I will see you the next time around.